over thinking i heard over thinking somewhere over thinking uh, there is no such thing as over thinking over speeding nothing like that this is in the language of the policemen and parents <laughs> you should think as much as you can what's the problem only problem is your mind is getting hot mind is getting hot not because of overthinking because there's too much friction there no lubrication no proper engineering it's not properly aligned now that you're talking about overthinking i must tell you last week i rode from coimbatore to bangalore on my motorcycle oh, i came away ahead of the security and stuff because uh, you know security travels at a certain speed so i got here from coimbatore to bangalore in just over 4 hours but your bangalore city everybody is such a bad driver <laughs> we need to do some driving training up <laughs> because it took me two and a half hours from electronic city to devanhalli and uh, my engine overheating that motorcycle is not made for that kind of first gear riding overheating and seizing 30 times my engine seized from there to here why i am saying this is if you are well aligned if you are well aligned and well lubricated this can think at any speed that you want i must tell you this this may be little hard and some of course the troll army will get at me let them do it because they also need some profession they don't have any obviously uh, is this at any given time on an average i have 12 to 14 channels going in my head all the time i don't find it burdensome because i wear it little loose i am not stuck in it your body your physiological process and psychological process either you can make it into stepping stones for you or you can make it into quicksand where you sink in and die right now most human beings uh i don't want to say percentages because it will be insulting most human beings are suffering their own physiological processes and their psychological processes their own intelligence is hurting them a lot you call this stress you call this anxiety you call it whatever essentially your intelligence is turned against you yes or no if your intelligence is working for you will you make it beautiful or horrible for yourself you must tell me only three people <laughs> please commit yourself to that that you will use your intelligence for your well being and everybody's well being the moment you know how to torture yourself with your own mind only advantage is you may get employment in hell because you will be good at torturing others also you may be very good at it because if you can poke yourself endlessly and suffer you can also do it to others very easily isn't it